production meeting with Monza, you know. Nice penalty. This is what he's done back. You know he can shoot Stokes, but now he has stepped it up. He has grown as an offensive player. Huh? And a kiss to boot. And a five-point game. 3.15 to go. Here's the Vance Fields. Nice young. There's the help defense. Boy, he got there in a hurry. Look at that. Shane Clark. Clark. Shane Clark took an elbow to the nose. He really paid a price on that one. That's, that's great collective defense by the Cats. Under three. And a young. That's one of those, if it goes, you say okay. Already moving a quick check. They, they don't want you to turn the corner. No, no longer at their best. They pinch and support. We saw them against Duke. They were just outstanding defensively. Incredible. In that ball game against the Blue Devils the other night. Just a little late clock and cross that he wasn't mm -hmm. in the denied position. Didn't his whole do his homework early. And Blair showed his quick feet to the box. Blair has eight. Five rebounds. Well, that's a little small change. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel, Greg Anthony and Seth Davis will recap the West Regional Final. UConn won that and they'll talk with Oklahoma head coach Jeff Capel and Blake Griffin plus an AT&T Naismith watch update. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. And you just see a little late denial by Clark. They took advantage, slipped it in and we're able to dominate. Terrific look. Jermaine Dixon goes to the bench. Back outside, Stokes pump fake, Gilbert Brown defending. 2.09 to go before the break in a three-point game. Reynolds, short, Blair with his sixth rebound. And he did a good job with his chest, not fouling, but throwing Reynolds off. A chance for the tie if Fields hits this one. It's this time, right? When it's like seven. The general. Lead his troops. You know, Cunningham's got the two. Not a good job by Blair. No. You know, I, I don't know why the show is that far from the basket. He's smiling. Oh, he's smiling, but he's got the ball. Jamie Dixon's not. not. Not at all. And LeVance feels if you hide on him or go under, he makes you pay. Big shot, LeVance. Just, I don't think, you know, it's not really a good play. Sticking that big leg out. And coaches teach to go out and attack that, the head's leg, the high leg. Right here, as he comes in here, you can see that leg. I thought Dixon initially was upset with Blair, but he's upset with the official. Oh, no, I think he was with the official right away. Oh, do you? Okay. Uh, he, he didn't think that he really stuck the leg out enough to warrant a foul. Reynolds shoots one more. So Blair on the bench with his second foul. It comes with a minute 40 to go in the first half. He picked up his first 90 seconds into the game. Fields and Reynolds. They pick very comfortable using the clock to get what they want. Now they're in a little dilemma getting organized right now. Biggs pops out to set the screen. Fields drives, puts it up. Put back, no. Rebound, Redding for Villanova. Villanova has six hands on the ball. That's rebounding. Reynolds. And a hole foul in the back by Shane Clark. They had a run out, and Clark actually may have saved the basket, you know, with that foul. Shane Clark's second foul. That is the 10th team foul, so double bonus now. And Brown will shoot two. And both coaches trying to save with the two fouls, different players. Cunningham, Blair, and now Clark. I think he may be coming out now. Antonio Pena is going to come on and we'll play Shane Clark. Clark, three threes in the early going tonight. That helped propel Villanova to a 10-point lead. Tied again, 62 seconds to go before the break. A lot of uh, small guys on the floor now. 
So you might have an opportunity to drive as you're going over, particularly with an open middle. Watch your footwork. Yep. Ready?